Hey guys, Diver Don here. Today I'd like to talk about the Orca Torch D620 canister style dive light. The folks over at Orca Torch were nice enough to send me this dive light to review, and so I'd like to open it up, let you take a peek inside, show you how it works, and give you my opinion about the light. Uh, it comes in this nice hard shell case, which is perfect for travel and storage. And at under five pounds, it's a, a great little package. Okay, it's not too heavy to uh, travel with, to take to whatever dive destination you're going to. So uh, let's take a look inside. Inside the case, you'll find an AC and a DC adapter for your H4 Intelligent charger. The screen on this is pretty neat. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. I'll put the batteries back in. Right now I have them in the canister. I'll put them in, let you look at the display as it's charging. Um, comes with an extra band, a gray band. The orange one is already installed. Some additional O-rings, which will come in handy in the future for the canister. That requires three. A hex key and some, some bolts. And a lanyard. The hex key is for your Goodman style handle here, which is pretty neat. I like what they've done with this. You uh, don't need any tools to store it. Collapsed like this, it protects the lens. You give it a little twist here and you tighten it down and it's ready to go on a dive. Okay, As you can see, pretty neat. Now you can collapse it here, make it tighter to the hand, or you can raise it up, which is nice if you have thick gloves, which I will in Lake Superior. Believe me, it gets kind of chilly. And you have all kinds of room here, as you can see. Okay, let me turn this on for you. The light has a depth rating of 150 meters. The Cree XHP70 LED delivers a maximum output of 2700 lumens. To turn the light on, we spin this dial 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then you press the button once. You can feel a little resistance. It's not going to accidentally get turn itself on. And there's your 2700 lumens maximum output once more. 800 lumens, medium setting once more low output of 150 lumens. It'll last 37 hours in this position. Turn it off, you press it once again, and then to lock it, spin it 90 degrees clockwise. You press the button now, and it will not accidentally turn on. The handle, I loosened up these uh, hex bolts already. It's also adjustable for width, which is really nice because if I have a glove on, a gloved hand, I'm going to need that extra width. Okay. And I wear gloves in Lake Superior, let me tell you, it gets cold. Alright, let's look at the battery compartment. Okay. You can see the three O-rings there. Okay. There's two pins that you line up onto the canister. And then your four lithium-ion 18650 batteries that are provided with the torch. Okay folks, so here you have a look at the H4 Intelligent Multifunction LCD Charger. I put the batteries in, it's charging them. The four lithium-ion batteries are being charged independently. Some may require a little more charge than others. I found these to be pretty consistent. This is only the second time I've needed to use it or charge them. Uh, but that display tells you each cell's voltage, the charging current, charging time, and the battery type. So as you can see, I was immediately impressed with the packaging and the appearance of this light. It's not very bulky. Uh, it's constructed of high quality, high strength, lightweight aluminum. At under 3 pounds, even with the batteries, it's not very heavy at all. The finish is a very durable, saltwater resistant finish, and I can see why it received a Best Design Award in 2016. I'm going to give this light a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them. Any questions you may have, uh, any comments about the video itself, um, 
with that, thanks for watching and dive safe. Talk to you soon.